Solving equations with variables on both sides. Let's try an example. 8x equals 5x plus 21. To solve, we need to collect the variable terms on one side of the equation and all of the constant terms on the other side. First, you need to choose the side for variable terms. Actually, it doesn't matter, you can choose any side and get the correct answer. However, the easier way is to pick the side with the greater coefficient of variable terms. Doing it this way, we avoid getting negative coefficients of variable terms. 8 is greater than 5, so we choose the left side for variable terms and the right side for constant terms. Now, we need to get the variable term off of the constant side. We subtract 5x from both the constant side and the variable side. Three x equals 21. We divide both sides by three. And we are left with x equals seven. Let's try another example. Six x plus 11 equals 10 x minus 13. We have variables on both sides. We need to pick the side for variables. 10x has a larger coefficient than 6x, so we choose the right side for variable terms. The left side is left for constant terms. We need to get 6x off of the left side because this side is for constant terms. Don't forget to subtract 6x from the right side to keep the balance. We have a constant, negative 13, on the variable side, so we add 13 on both sides to get rid of it. The last step to get x alone, we divide both sides by 4. Six equals x, or x equals six. Let's try another example. 17 minus four x equals negative nine x minus 13. We have variables on both sides. We need to pick the side for variables. We could see on the number line that negative four is greater than negative nine. So negative 4x has a larger coefficient than negative 9x. So we choose the left side for variable terms. The right side is left for constant terms. We need to get negative 9x off of the right side because this side is for constant terms. Don't forget to add 9x on the left side to keep the balance. We have a constant, 17 on the variable side, so we subtract 17 on both sides to get rid of it. Five x equals negative 30. The last step to get x alone, we need to divide both sides by five. x equals negative 6. Let's try another example. Negative 16 minus 4x equals 2x plus 8. We have variables on both sides. To solve, we need to collect all of the variable terms on one side of the equation and all constant terms on the other side. First, you need to choose the side for variable terms. As I've said before, it doesn't matter. However, the easiest way is to pick the side with the greater coefficient of variable terms. Doing it this way, we avoid getting negative coefficients of variable terms. So let's pick the side for variables. We could see on the number line that 2 is greater than negative 4. So 2x has a larger coefficient than negative 4x. So we choose the right side for variable terms and the left side for constant terms. 
we need to get negative 4 off of the left side because this side is for constant terms. We add 4x on the left side and add the same amount, 4x, on the right side to keep the balance. Negative 16 equals 6x plus 8. We have a constant, 8, on the variable side, so we subtract 8 from both sides to get rid of it. The last step to get x alone, we need to divide both sides by 6. Negative 4 equals x, or x equals negative 4. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.